Have you ever um, read The Celestine Prophecy or watched the movie? I have not, but someone else just recently okay, okay. brought it back. <laughs> so they go, they go through. There's nine scrolls, and it's it's a it's um it it seems like it's like would be real, and it's these tokens of wisdom, but it's fantasy, right? Mm. And um, but it's held it's, it's test of time because it's really one of the best self help books that have ever been written. But it's not done so in a way that is all of this like you know, like fact orientated kind of mm. boring jargon. It's done in a story, right? Mm-hmm. And, but when they, when they go through this, the insights are really about loving yourself and becoming aware of your energy. And they call it these control dramas that occur. And these control dramas, when you said it, like I was just starting to rewatch the movie the other day. I had, it's like 20 years old. So I was like, but oh, wow. I was like, like, like I wanted to watch the movie. And uh, I fell asleep during it, so I got to rewatch it. But uh, the control dramas of like you know when when the vibration when you're when you're being nice to somebody, you're doing something, but you're trying to fulfill this wound in yourself. It literally doesn't come across from an authentic place, and it's actually doing a disservice to the person. And they do a really good mm. job in the in the movie depicting it as this like sucking on their energy or like trying to like over control them and like you know wow. dominate it when because you're looking to get. You're giving in order to get instead of giving just to give. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Mm-hmm. And it has a very different vibration to it. And I think that like if somebody can get that, when your cup is full, you give to give. You don't give to get. Yes. You don't give to order to look good, in order to feel important, in order to be special, in order to receive some kind of conditional love. Well, and I, I've been like, uh, my mind has been chomping on the goodness of this <laughs> for as long as I can remember. I just find that there's so many paradoxes. Is paradoxes the plural of paradox? I don't know. You know what I'm trying the, to say. The listeners know that I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Make up our own words. All the time. I mean, like, the Christina vocabulary is like <laughs> literally like the own dictionary. I'm like, <laughs> amazing. Because part of my intention for this was just like to play in the nonsense. So perfect. Paradoxes. We're going to go with that. Um, yeah, the paradox of people being like, oh, well, isn't that selfish? Well, through what you were just saying, it seems that it's necessary to be selfish because you need to give yourself what you're expecting other people to give you before you can give them that or anything else, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because like you said, otherwise it's kind of like a hollow transaction. Like I'm giving you this, but I don't have it for myself. And so I can't really give you something I don't have. Yeah. Right? Or, or I'm giving this because this is what I would want you to do for me or somebody do for me. So right. I can't do it for myself. So I'm going to treat you and spoil you, but I really am longing that somebody would treat me and spoil mm-hmm. me. You know, like it, that receiving of that. And I'm sure everybody that has had that happen one time, like think of somebody that's super, super over the top trying to overly please people. Mm. Like it just feels so disingenuous. It feels that, like not clean. <laughs> like, and, and you're like, ooh, ooh. Right. it feels like scummy. Mm-hmm. It's like, why is this person trying so hard? You know, why is this person wanting, you know, like it's, it's, it's almost like you want to push it away because the stronger that need for whatever validation they are looking for, the more yucky it feels. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so funny. Like I, I didn't think of a specific person as you were describing this, but I've of course had this experience, and I just started to feel like sad for them all of a sudden. <laughs> but I think it's just because I, I'm, you know, yeah, I do what we do, and <laughs> I see not only like the inauthenticity authenticity and like un- uncleanliness of it but i also see like the void that's behind and the, that, pain. the motivation and the pain right yeah and that's and that's not to gun on anybody it's just to say like you deserve to heal and feel that fullness for yourself and it's it's just really that redundancy of drilling in the point of like this is for others and for you by taking care of you i also feel like um <laughs> It's just, again, it's so interesting for me. Like, I I don't know if it's because I'm German or I just like to think, (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm always like kind of diverting back to that analytical, like just wanting to understand how things work and why they work the way that they do. And I mean, at the end of the day, we're still animals. Like we're not separate from the animal kingdom. And the ability to feel whether someone is with an integrity or like being authentic or you, we can feel where people are giving from and where they're speaking and acting from because we're animals. And that's like a primal <laughs> sense of like, is this person safe? You know what I'm saying? Like, can I trust yeah. them to, can I eat these berries that they're giving me? Or are they trying to steal my tribe? <laughs> you know? Yeah. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.